Welcome back to the Coaches Show here at Noble State College in the athletic department. Our guest this afternoon is head coach of track and field and cross country, Coach Dan Myers. Good to see you today, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate having me. Hey, so uh, for your your time in the blue, this is your first championship week. Uh, tell me about you know that excitement and uh, you know what you're looking for up at uh, Ogilvy Park. I'm really excited. Um, you know, conference week has kind of kind of snuck up on us this year, and um, but you know our team's prepared and we're we're ready to roll. Um, it's honestly only my second conference uh, championship. Um, you know, week in the cross country side of my career. Um, you know, one year when I was at Wesley, the last two years, or you know, I wasn't in the league. But um, you know, the team's ready. They're excited. They're focused. Um, but you know, I still get you know chills thinking about you know when the when the gun goes off at you know 9:30 for the women's race and uh, thinking about all the miles and all the early morning practices out on the golf course that we've had, you know, it all comes to fruition at that point, so. Yeah, absolutely. So what, uh, the, about the course up there at Ogilvy? I know it's one of the more challenging ones. Uh, I love seeing those hilly courses in championship competition. It's just about the preparation your team has had for that course and uh, just for the challenges that are ahead with that. Um, you know, I think we we got um, a little lucky this year in the sense of how we structured our schedule. Um, you know, a lot of teams in the league um, on the week they went to Lock Haven. Um, you know, we went to um, more of a low key meet, which which was a matchup against uh, Frostburg and AB and some other you know Division three schools. Um, and we went to Penn State Fayette, and that course was a lot of inclines, a lot of rolling hills, a lot of uneven terrain. Not as groomed as Ogilvy, but I think it really helped us prep for um, you know down the road. Um, looking ahead to conference. Um, Carnegie that we raced uh, two weeks ago, um, a little bit more flat in those spots, but it also had some some climbs that I think will prepare us. I think um, along with that, adding on with us, you know, our, our fartlek uh, runs out on the golf course that we've done about four or five times during our, our fall sequence, yeah. I think will really pay off for, you know, what the what the course is going to look like at Ogilvy. You know, praying that, you know, um, you know, it'll be a little dry up there, but, you know, as you always said, kind of ideal conditions, yeah. whatever we get on the line, we just got to have to roll with and Right. You know, to keep that mental state as good as we yeah. possibly can. More rain, put in longer spikes. Yep, we'll just absolutely. Keep we'll just keep going. You uh, cross country so deep in this league. You know, with uh, you know regionally ranked teams. You know, teams that are going to you know be running at nationals, and uh, I know it's, it's a tough nut to crack there. You know, with with the group. But what what are what are some of the objectives? Some of the goals you're looking for to, to get out of Saturday. You know, we, I didn't get to mention it a whole lot last week individually, but, um, you know, I think that we have, you know, the Gerald brothers are two people that can make a big splash in the conference and push for a top 20 spot. And um, it's crazy that, you know, um, when you say top 20 and, you know, you're not saying like top 10 or top five, and that just shows how deep of our conference is and how strong the guys that they, you know, they are. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, every team can only race seven coming up at this, this uh, you know, at conference. Um, and with four teams that are, you know, all have a shot in our conference to make the national meet on the right day, um, you know, I think that that makes it a really exciting stage for, for what we have going on. But I think on the men's side, overall, we're really looking um, to be in the upper half of the league. We talked a little bit about last week. We've had a, we had a goal of fifth, you know, it might be a year away, but I think that on the right day that we, we can achieve that we are preseason ranked tied for seventh. And we're going to have a battle with the Frostburgs, the Wesleyans, the Fairmonts, you know, the Wheelings, um, you know, to kind of battle for that spot. But um, a lot of our guys, Clayton, uh, Clayton B, BJ, uh, Isaac Slater, Adam Davis, you know, they all put in a lot of big miles this summer. Um, Brady Lehman came on strong. He's a uh, race with us for the first time last week. So, you know, we have a lot of depth. We just need to close the gap from three to seven to kind of make that, um, you know, make that uh, goal a reality. Yeah, absolutely. And I think those places, like just a few seconds, could be, you know, several places and several right. spots, are especially in that. 30 to 45 range, you know, mm -hmm. what if somebody picks three or four people off, what a flip that could be. And uh, it's hard to, you know, get that in the kids sometime, I know. Uh, but on the women's side, I know it was objective to have a full team and then, um, you know, get get some finishes here. And what, what, what are your goals on the women's side of this? Um, I think overall, um, you know, really just making sure that, you know, John V and Sam, you know, being more of our cross country focused girls, you know, stick to the race plan that we've kind of had all year. And it's really just trust your fitness and put your nose in it. You know, um, Ogilvy uh, is kind of structured a little differently in some of the courses we've been that, you know, you can start off a little moderate and some of those hills, some people will come back to you. But at the same time that we want them to race with some confidence, they put 
in a lot of miles for a reason. And, um, you know, I, I think for the rest of the girls that they're kind of seeing not just what, you know, can make the races on the weekends easier, um, but they're seeing that the rest of the season as a, as a whole of just trusting the process. Um, you know, Friday morning, you know, we did some uh, last minute 400 just to tune up. And it was the first uh, workout with this group that we've all done together and did the same exact workout um, to kind of tune things up. And they worked together as a pack during the whole thing. And that was really good to see, yeah. you know, and I think that makes the recruiting more exciting. And I think that makes, um, you know, overall what we're going to have in some of the middle distance events with Alexis, Eric, Alyssa Woods and coming on, uh, coming on strong. So um, I think overall, I just, I just want them to go out and, and enjoy it, enjoy the moment and, and just, you know, um, put their nose in it when they can and, and just go after as many jerseys as possible. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, what time are the races up there, Sherry? Uh, the women are at 9.30, and the men uh, will follow up at 10.30. 10.30, and these are you know, live-streamed on the, on the Mountain East Network, and uh, uh, very exciting, very exciting. I mean, I think it's one of the great events in the league, and uh, historically, I know, you know, where the, the crowds they get, and, uh, you know, the folks in Mountain East will tell you that, you know, about what a big event this has been. And uh, what, what, What's your greatest memory from the conference championships? Um, I would say um, greatest memory um, would probably be probably be the sweep. You know, um, back when we were at uh, when we were at Wes at Wesleyan, um, and uh, you know, one of my best friends, Nathan Whitaker, I think he won it in 2014. So, second year of the Mountain East Conference, I believe, um, and uh, the men and women won it on both sides. That was a really great memory um, up at Pipeson, which is a phenomenal course. Um, I would say, uh, you know, I think that you know, just to kind of give some props to the other teams in the league, um, you know, I think that you know, after all the hard work like Coach Bias had put in, and then to finally win a championship. Championship and then, you know, kind of the run they've had since then. And uh, Mikey Cox in uh, 2018, you know, won on the women's side and was close for a lot of years and, you know, in between championships. So um, I think some of those, just some the coaches I respect yeah. in the league, I think those are some really good memories that, yeah. you know, I kind of think about and, and, you know, try to put myself into that and hope we can kind of propel, you know, our teams at Glenville into those similar spots. Yeah, I think this is, uh, this is the first step of a big journey right here. It's very exciting. So, uh, you know, I think. Again, we got the indoor championships in February and uh, the outdoors here in May, and uh, it starts with Saturday. Yep, you know, making absolutely. Making showing up here. So, appreciate having you. I'm looking forward to bringing you back next week to talk about how it all goes down. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate it, Coach.